Thank you for visiting Youth Hockey Hub in this week's video cast. We'll be covering four things this week. Number one, we'll be talking about the stress of tryouts. We'll be talking about our featured player of the week. We'll be talking about CCM products like this one, the CCM Crazy Light. And finally, we'll be talking about what we'll be covering next week at Youth Hockey Hub. The stress of tryouts, deep breath, <sighs> little Johnny and little Jenny are getting judged by someone in the hockey association whether they're good enough or, or not. And it's a tough time for all hockey parents that they have kids that are on the bubble. This week we wrote a little article on the stress of tryouts and what the effect that it has on parents and associations and just hockey in general. Uh, I wrote an article this week in the and listed off six and a half things to keep in mind when your kid is going through trials. I got some feedback, some really good feedback. One of the feedbacks on the, the article I wrote was that I didn't pay much attention to the C players, which is farthest from the truth. The uh, C players are uh, just as important to any associations. Just ask Sean Podine, who played C hockey as a squirt and made his way all the way to the NHL and ultimately won the Stanley Cup. So. That is, uh, I, hopefully that was mis misunderstood or misinterpreted in my article. Finally, the other one was the politics, number six on my list. Is I stated that politics has very little to do with how uh, little Johnny or little Jenny is, is judged. And a heated debate uh, started on uh, the youth hockey forum about such a thing. And I guess I want to restate how I stated it. I thought that the associations and boards don't conspire. Uh, intentionally conspire against a child. Usually it's talent or uh, something that's way more obvious to a particular kid making a team or not making a team. Uh, although I did do, occur, do agree that uh, some politics does go into just about anything in life. It's just like a business deal. You're, you could be the most qualified uh, vendor in a specific project, but if the other vendor has got a buddy at the company, you're not going to get the deal. So there's going to be politics in just about everything in life. Thanks to Jeff Vershavi over at General Sports today, I get to dress up like Cletus from the NFL Fox bro broadcast, the uh, robot that jumps around the, the, uh, jumps around the TV screen during timeouts. Well, here I am. I've got my full-fledged uh, crazy light CCM equipment on. I love this stuff. It's really, really protective, super light as, as advertised. And the shoulder pads have a great sternum protector here for blocking shots and taking slashes off the chest. The uh, elbow pads are excellent because they have uh, a really low profile here for the bicep. A lot of the shoulder, a lot of elbow pads these days go way up. This is really, really shallow, which gives you a lot more flexibility to be easy to shoot the puck. Lastly, I got the skate, which I featured in the intro. It's the Crazy Light Skate. This skate is super light. It's got a really dynamic heel and toe uh, setup as well. Um, this skate uh, retails for $549 compared to some of the top end Skates are closer to $1,000, so it's affordable. It's got a great blade, um, and it's a, it's a great skate. I, I can't wait to put it on and actually put it to the, put it to the ice this year. Uh, thanks again to Jeff Rashavi and the people at General Sports for providing me this equipment uh, during this broadcast. This week's featured player of the week is Blake Blattner from River Lakes in central Minnesota and District 5. Blake is a real nice player. I got to see him play last weekend at the Hattrick 3-on-3 championship game. His team was victorious over a collection of kids from the Blades 03 team. Uh, Blake is a nice kid. I got a chance to meet him in the hallway afterwards. And I really appreciate his parents sending in two great pictures. you got to check out the one on the inside of the story on our site. Uh, it's a picture of he and his buddies playing without their helmets on, God forbid. Uh, a little pond hockey, and it's a great shot, and it's a great little uh, write-up we do on Blake. Uh, look forward to reading more about his team this year and how well they do uh, at the score day level.
Next week we're writing two feature stories, one on the Bantam A preseason top 10 and the other on the resurgence of Minneapolis youth hockey. If you haven't missed it, the Minneapolis program has announced a new head coach for their Minneapolis high school program. Their youth program is growing by leaps and bounds. It's soon to be one of the biggest programs in the state. Uh, we got a nice write-up on that, the building and construction of that program. We'll also be probably covering one or two Pee Wee and Bantam scrimmages as those teams uh, get announced and the scrimmage part of the schedule uh, gets underway. Look forward to seeing you guys around the rink. Have a good week.